Hello everyone and welcome to episode 56 of our game dev tutorials. Sorry it's been a while, I've had a lot going on in life and uh, whereas it's a passion project and I am still very much committed to working on it, um, I <laughs> have been quite busy. So anyway, I apologize for the long time between episodes, but worry not, I'm, I'm not abandoning any of this. Um, I will continue to work on all of it. Alright, so where we left off was our loot system. And so today we're going to work on picking up an item. Um, we will not do a menu to be able to see that pickup, but we will do a test um, and show it happening in the code. I don't usually like to do that, but again, I'm trying to make these a little bit smaller chunks, um, and I'm trying to get back into making these more often. Um, so today we're going to create a test item class, which will inherit from uh, inventory item. Then we are going to uh, add that item to the loot bag so that we actually have an item in the loot bag. Um, then we are going to create the inventory, which is just a list of inventory items uh, in unit. And then when we uh, click on the inventory item, we are going to add it to our player slash unit inventory. Um, I want to remind you, make sure if you're liking my videos to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, all those kinds of things really help. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, then we can, you know, kind of grow the channel a lot better. YouTube uh, treats people over that thousand mark a lot better. But anyway, um, let's uh, dig right into it. Uh, real quick, let's uh, first I wanted to mention the, Im the item. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it this time, but I am going to add it to the project. This is just a piece of art from a, well, I think it's actually from Gilded Delinar. But uh, I'm going to take that and we are going to put it into the game uh, and, uh, you know, it's a nice generic item. I was using it as an orb in a game, but, uh, yeah, we're going to give that out. And you guys will have it. And so where we're going to put that real fast is uh, in here. We're going to loot. And then, uh, let's see, it's going to go to items. Uh, capital I. Items. And then misc. and then let me grab that file and drop it in and then of course I will I will give this out it'll be in the provided materials uh, below down in the description um, and obviously we do the content copy of newer and we're set there so um, the next thing we want to do is we want to come down in here and we want to go and look in our inventory area and add our test item so in inventory same idea we're going to do items And then in there, um, we are going to add test item. Now, test item is just an inventory item, so let's just copy, paste it in there. Okay. Um, did not go in. Paste. No. Of course. Let's just delete some stuff now because I'm pushing the wrong buttons. All right. Copy. Oops. Copy. Paste. Yay. Okay, and then this is just going to be called test item. Um, no rocket science involved. It's just going to be an item uh, that's essentially blank. Um, we know that it's an inventory item, but for us this is test item. And then we have that. I like the extra space there. Um, and then we don't need this because we're just we're inheriting that from um, inventory item. And then in here, we gotta call the base destructor. Okay. And then I am going to copy paste this and we'll talk about what it is. Um, it's just the icon, right? So the icon, which is, oh, this is here, it needs to be test item. Okay. Um, the icon is from inventory item, and we are just setting it to the exact same path as we put our item in here, which is 2D loot items miscellaneous offhand uh, offhand icon one. Okay, we give it no a zero zero for position. Uh, we have given it a 3232 width and height. We are uh, giving it one frame by one frame, so it's a single frame and color white so it's not have that it doesn't have a change color so this is our test item um 
we're going to use this and put it into our um, our loot bag. So if we come to where we create loot bags, which was in mob, and then we just go down one line, we're going to do this a little bit down and dirty. Um, we are going to uh, take this, take a temp, we create a temp bag instead of doing it this way, right? And that's so that we have access to it still. So um, let's go and say loot bag temp bag equals, and then it's going to equal this thing right here, which we created last time. Okay, we're going to paste it there. Um, and then we are going to pass that temp bag right into our um, pass loot bag function from game globals. Now, essentially, this is exactly what we had, but it's in two lines. And the reason we're going to do is because we want this temp bag variable to have access to it. And we're going to add the items. So items dot add and then we're going to say new test item super simple stuff um, that's why we set up things the way we do is so that things are nice and simple to work on um, and add to so all right that adds it to our bag that was very simple um, the next thing we want to do is we want to come into our uh, unit so let's go find unit real fast. Um, and here we're going to have the inventory added. So um, we're going to say public list inventory item inventory equals new and then the list of inventory items. So that creates our inventory. Um, that's kind of a big deal uh, for pretty obvious reasons. Um, we want to be able to keep control over all of these inventory items, right? So um, that's the list of them, and that's what we're going to be adding to. So yay. All right. Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to transfer those items on click from uh, our character from the loot bag to our character. So first things first what we want to do for that is we want to come into game globals and we want to add uh, what do we call this? We call it add to inventory. Why not? That's good enough for me. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set that equal to something in our unit class or our hero class. Unit hero. Uh, let's just go with unit. And then we're going to say uh, in here um, add to inventory. So hold on. Give me one second. I did it in hero in the prompt. I'm trying to think real quick. Is that a reason that I did it there in hero? I don't think so. I think I'd actually rather it be in unit. So I'm going to change that up and say add to right here and say public virtual void uh, add to inventory. And that's going to take in an object info. And then here we're going to say inventory dot add, and then it's going to be inventory item uh, info. Okay, so that's just adding the item to inf info, and we're creating a um, a function that our delegate can use, uh, the delegate that we just created over here, um, and we're going to set that in world. Um, so we do that uh, in load data. So load data L alphabetized and everything. It's still okay. F L load data. Okay. So we're gonna do it uh, right after our user is initialized and our user is initialized here. So once we have our user, 
um, what we need is if um, if user dot hero is not equal to null, so the hero exists. That's all we're asking. And say game globals dot add to inventory equals user. Whoops. Dot hero dot add to inventory. Um, very simple. We're just setting those equal. Um, pretty simple stuff. Um, and that will call this function when we, you know, invoke this. So that's good. Now uh, we want to work on loot bag to have right click functionality or click left click functionality. Actually, I'm sorry, more like Diablo two loot. So. Um, here we're going to have just our update function, which we don't have yet. Public virtual void update. And then that's going to get a vector2 offset. Vector2 offset. All right. And then um, down here in draw, draw we're going to say public virtual void draw. And then we should have had this last time, but we just didn't do it. So um, let's add that in. And then here we're going to say icon. Hmm. Our loot bag had an icon, right? Loot bag path. Oh, it's not an icon. We just did it as the base of it okay so it would just be that's why we didn't have the draw we didn't need it okay sorry I uh, wrote this prompt probably two months ago so I'm not 100% on sure on what I did and actually the two versions were slightly different I think because the first time I did it for the prompt I didn't really like how I did it so I refactored it okay that's fine let's move in uh, we got our if statement and this, this is going to test for our clicks so as we've tested for clicks before it's globals dot mouse dot left click and hover offset so that's the same offset that comes in there so this is if we're over it and we click that's what we're looking for and then we say we want all our items so we're going to loop them um, right now we just have one item, so but we, we are writing this for more flexibility for you guys. Uh, it's a simple loot system, system but I, I do want you guys to have some flexibility. Um, so, uh, I plus plus. Uh, we are now going to use, we're going to invoke that, that function with the delegate that game rules add to inventory that adds the item to inventory um, shoot of our character yay okay and then here we have done is true and I don't think I have done yet so um, our loot bag is going to need the bool or done so public bool done and just like in our other classes it's literally just a uh, uh, bool to set to true so that we can get rid of it um, and then down here we're going to set to false so done it's false when we initialize it and then in here what we're going to do is we're going to say if and we are going to say uh, items not equal null um, and the reason we're going to do this, right? So we have we're we're initializing items to non-null, right? Um, and so if we pass a null in here, we actually want a list of non-null. We want our list to say non-null. Um, we don't want to take this items and make it null. So we're going to just wrap it up real quick. Um, all right. So we have our item. We have our inventory created we have the ability to move the inventory but what we don't have is this function updating so I believe it's world that we have our loot bags in right let me double check 
yeah that's our loop bags are here so um, we need to add those to uh, add those we need to add updating for our loot bags to our main loop so to do that I'm just gonna check my order because I don't want to get it wrong uh, I did it first so above projectiles here we're gonna say for anti equals zero I less than loot bags dot count count I plus plus okay and then in here we're gonna have we could have just copy pasted all this and changed it out so all of this is identical and we do that on purpose so switch out projectiles for loot bag and the update is just the offset and done remove from loot bags perfect everything's good there we have all that um that gives us the ability to now build in our update function more when we want to. This should test now. So let's give this a try. Um, I'm hoping we don't crash a million things and that I forgot a step somewhere. But um, here's our game. I'm going to play. I'm going to come over here. We're just going to shoot some dudes to get some loot bags to drop. Preferably sooner rather than later. All right. And then we're going to click on it. All right. So the loot bag disappeared. That's really good. You know what I forgot to put in was the breakpoint. So let me throw the breakpoint in real fast. Uh, the breakpoint would be in unit, and it would be right here. And so let me open that up and click here. And we got our breakpoint. And our inventory is added, and we have three test items inside of our inventory. If you guys don't know what I just did, what I did was I hovered at a breakpoint. You can hover over data. It says that I have three things in my inventory, right? And I can click the arrow and I can see what those things are. Uh, we only have test items, so obviously all three things are test items. I've clicked on exactly three pieces of loot, so that's exactly right. So I, I try to give you guys a more visual um, test. Uh, and you did get to see the inventory I, uh, bag, the loot bag disappear. Um, but in this case, uh, this is as far as I'm gonna go because what I have to do next is build an entire menu for viewing that loot, so your inventory menu. Uh, and that will be next, so um, bear with me. I'll get this next one out, hopefully the next week or two. Um, again, guys, if you are enjoying what I'm doing, please take a second, hit that like button, uh, show me that you still care. <laughs> I know I've been gone for a while, I apologize. Uh, hit that subscribe button, um, comment, let me know what's going on with you guys' games. I'm happy to to talk i'm also on discord make sure you check out the discord i'm there I'm ha i i help people there whenever there's questions um and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time have a good one